pivot hardware in. We've got the frame, as I talked about before. Um, now we're getting the door slap ready. We've got it laying here, and um, this is the bottom edge. So this has a pin sticking out of it on the bottom edge. So I've taken tape, and I've marked exactly where that pin is. We're gonna put the door slab in at a 90 degree to the frame. So it's gonna be impossible for us to see this pin. So I've marked it. It's not a perfect mark, but it's um, right in line with it. So it helps us to line up with the sill pivot. And then on the top, we have our Allen wrench here. And the Allen wrench, when it's in the bottom hole, controls the, the pin on the top of the door. And as I get a couple turns on there, you can see the pins start to extend. And that's what actually holds the door in the top pivot point. So we're supposed to put eight turns on that pin, and that fully engages it in with our top pivot point. This top hole here, we've got another one, and it's a very long Allen wrench, but this top hole extends, and that, if you turn that counterclockwise or clockwise, that will actually move this pin position towards your Allen wrench or away from your Allen wrench, and that is the main adjustment for this door slab. Assuming our door frame is in and it's level and it's plumb and it's square, we're gonna adjust the actual door slab with this adjustment here, this top Allen screw will move this pin that way or that way. So those are our two major points that we have to get to line up now.